I think that's paid money. Oh, I'm having a nightmare, folks. Absolute nightmare. I've got, uh, well, I was supposed to do my border run yesterday. Uh, my visa expired on the 22nd. It's now the 23rd, so I will be fined 500 baht for not leaving on time for a day's overstay. Um, but I've arrived here at the bus station, as you can see, and I've been told that there's no tickets available. There's only two buses a day, one at 9.30 and another one at 3.30 to Paxa in Lao. So yeah, I'm hoping, just hanging on here for until 9.30 arrives, because it's not 9.30 just yet, hopefully not everybody turns up and there'll be space. That's what I'm hoping. Apparently there is um, mini bus service as well. So I'll wait until 9.30 to see if there's any space on the big bus. Because I prefer like big buses, not, not these uh, mini buses. I really don't like mini buses. They're very restricted and um, yeah, I just don't enjoy the travelling in them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, 9.30 arrives. Not everyone's turned up and I can still get on. Otherwise, I might be stuck here for some time. I've obviously already checked out my hotel, so I've got all my bags with me. Um, thankfully, they're not too heavy, so it's not too much of a, a chore. But yeah, if you're doing a, a run to the border, leaving Thailand to go into Laos, and you're traveling up northeast to Ubon to go to Paxe, just take into account that the buses are only twice a day and they do get fully booked so it's a bit of a gamble doing what I've just done just rocking up at the bus station hoping to to get a seat uh, it hasn't worked <laughs> so I don't know what to do I think I'm just gonna have to stay here and uh, just chill for a bit uh, and weigh up my options I mean, the other option is, I suppose, to go to Muktahan. Muktahan is about just as far, um, bizarrely, even though you go in more north. I think that it's just an easier route because it's more uh, motorways rather than um, like back roads, which I think going from here is kind of windy country lanes rather than motorways, which going to Muktahan it is motorways all the way. So obviously it's, uh, I think, further to travel. Plus, obviously, that would result in me e ending up crossing into Savannah Cat uh, in, in Laos, which I don't really want to spend any more time in Savannah Cat. I've spent a lot of time there already. Um, plus, I want to head towards Cambodia. So if I go to Paxa, uh, I'm nearer to Cambodia. Because um, I've got one and a half million kit. Um, to use up so I want to kind of use that up over the next two three days um, and then at the same time work my way down towards Cambodia cross into Cambodia go see Angkor Wat and then come back into Thailand after going through into Cambodia that's the plan whether or not it works out that way we'll just have to wait and see because uh, having to come here and uh, be told that there's no buses available because they're fully booked is not what I was expecting. If I'd ar arrived like 9:25, five minutes to spare, yeah, I could you know imagine all the seats would be full, but we had 40 minutes still to go. So um, unless people just arrive in Thailand a lot earlier than their planned trips due to its part. A lot of people in the UK and in the West leave there and don't give themselves a much, much of a buffer and try and arrive on time, not too much beforehand. And I think everywhere is the same, but apparently not today. People have uh, pre-planned, pre-booked, and that's done me out of a seat. And to be fair, I might need two seats because I've got these bags. 
So if it's a mini bus rather than a big bus, they'll probably try and charge me for two tickets because they probably won't have a six space for my baggage. So they might want me to pay extra so I can put my baggage on the seat and pay in double. Which I don't mind doing if I'm actually taking the seat. If they're going to charge me for an extra seat but then put my bags on the floor or on my lap, I'm not paying for that. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. We're not even there yet. We haven't even got on the, on the coach to find out. So yeah, watch this space. But for any of you traveling to do your borders, you know, do your border run um, or exit, start, you know, out, out of Thailand. Do you plan on coming to Ubon by bus? Or actually you could fly into Ubon, you could end up being here because of the airport. Um, if you're then planning on leaving into Paxe, Laos, Lao, Laos, um, yeah. Maybe try and get your ticket the day before. That's my advice. I'll do another video a bit later to give you an update as as, as much as the um, minibus side of things go. I'm not sure if he was suggesting that I hire my own minibus, which I'm, I'm not going to hire my own. If obviously there's a minibus that goes, um, and there's other people to spread the cost with, then yes, I'm not going to pay for a minibus just for myself. Uh, I can wait until 3.30, I'm not in that much of a hurry. As long as I cross today and pay my fine, that's all that really matters. But anyway, TTFM, and I'll catch you in the next one.